Welcome to MarcusG.TV. I'm Chef Marcus Giuliano. I'm a chef on a mission. Today's mission is 50mistakes.com, 50 mistakes that restaurant owners make. Um, please check that site out if you are a restaurant owner, a restaurant manager, if you're in the restaurant industry trying to move up the ladder. And there's a lot of free, awesome videos on there that people are loving from all over the world. I get emails um, saying how much people are enjoying them and how much it's helping their business. Today's tip, the tip in this video is about making sure that you have enough inventory. Now, I know that having too much inventory is detrimental because a lot of people say, well, I'd rather have money in the bank. I'd rather be paying a bill than sitting on, on excess liquor, excess inventory. So a friend of mine went out uh, for, for a drink the other day to a local restaurant, and uh, he was in the mood for a scotch. And if you saw one of my other videos, he went to a Mexican restaurant looking for a scotch too, and they, didn't, they did have it, but they told him they didn't. That's a whole training, training issue. So my buddy says sit at the bar and he goes uh, and he's had the scotch here. he's had McCallum there he's had Glenlivet he goes I'll have a Glenlivet she goes we don't have it and he goes how about a McCallum she goes we don't have it and then I wanted a, a Captain Lawrence because I, 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 I don't drink that much but if I, I was going to ha have a beer or a small beer and she goes we don't have it we're out of it and this is so detrimental okay now these are small restaurants maybe they don't have enough inventory space or whatever I'm not, I'm not sure but the bar selections were not big at this restaurant and a lot of bar restaurants don't have a big bar selection but by not having the products not having them ready to go and the answer was oh we had a busy weekend well, you know what i have a busy weekend all, every weekend is a busy weekend for me okay i have busy midweeks I have, I have a busy restaurant but i've taken the planning out to say okay if i have half of a bottle or something i need a backup bottle if i have a quarter of a bottle I need a backup bottle. If I have, you know, if it's one of my popular well pours, I need two backup bottles. We have everything figured out by pars, okay? This restaurant's been in business a while. They should understand what pars are. So everything figured out by pars. So we go through the checklist and we say, okay, this time of the year, we should have three bottles of this in stock. Make sure I have an extra store. I have a storeroom to make sure that the excess is there, that we have it. Now, am I, do I run out of stuff? Absolutely. Am I we perfect? No. But and I have like 30 scotches, so if I'm out of one or two scotches, I have plenty of others to choose from. This restaurant only had two single malts, and they were both out. So that's detrimental to your guests. You're not providing an experience. You're not providing, you know, especially if you have it all the time, you're not meeting guest expectations. Inventory, stocking the proper amount of inventory is so important. Um, you know, but of course you have to balance it with the finances of too much inventory, so that's where you have to do the work and run reports. Now, this particular restaurant did not have a POS system, a POS point of sale, which allows you to run reports to understand how much you've purchased or how much you've sold. Now, we have a POS and we have Chef Tech. Chef Tech allows me to show what I've purchased. The POS allows me to show what I've sold so I can cross-reference it to, but I can pull up reports for a th three-month period, a one-month period, a one-week period to understand that, hey, every summer I'm going to sell. 12 bottles of this particular scotch. I know that for the summer. That's my history. So now I can buy six bottles at a time and get a discount or make sure that I'm buying that bottle every week and that I have a full extra bottle in stock. So these are all part of the analytics of running your business, understanding the, 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 the details. And that can take work, but the more the older your restaurant is, the more years you have in, the easier it is to do because the more of a history you have. So that's how you that's how you come up with your pars. Um, but you have to have pars written down. Same thing with your kitchen, the prep list. They need to know how much soup am I prepping? Am I prepping a gallon this week? Am I prepping five gallons this week? Based upon your business, based upon your historical business of a slow winter month versus a busy summer month. They need to know the historical so they can prepare enough. Same thing with ordering your food and ordering all that. You know, enough said about pars, but it's the guest that, 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 that suffers when you don't plan properly. And it's just, it's, it's amazing because he would have ordered an expensive scotch. I would have gotten a full beer. Instead, we split one other beer that neither of us were really happy with, but I, I had already gotten it. And he's like, do you mind if I don't drink? I'm like, do you mind if I give you half my beer is the reality of this. So, uh, and he drank half my beer and, and we were in and out. So, um, uh, and the other thing is I know the delivery schedules, the local delivery schedules. So chances are, not chances, they could have gotten something in. If they had a busy weekend, they could have ordered on Monday and gotten it Wednesday, and we were there Wednesday night. So, 
Um, that's the reality of it. Um, I'm Chef Marcus Giuliano. Thanks for watching this video. If you like my video, please hit like, subscribe to my channel, and uh, don't get me wrong, I'm not bashing any other local restaurants or anything. I'm just using that as a reference to actually um, get the point across to you. And I use these videos for my staff as well. Um, so my staff watches this blog and we have a separate whole training blog for my staff that this video will make it onto as well. So I'm not bashing any local restaurant though, so don't, please don't understand as that. I'm just using this as a training point. I'm using my personal experience as a, as a training point. Like I said, I'm not perfect either. Um, but you put systems in place to further get to that place where you're going to provide a better customer guest satisfaction. I'm Chef Marcus Giuliano. Thanks for watching these videos. If you like my videos, please hit like, subscribe to my channel, and pass it on.